we doing, brother? Uh, All right, fantastic. Good, Good to see, see you. Man. It's been a while, huh? <laughs> About five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes too long. Yeah. What do you think about Tom Brady? Tom Brady, is he the GOAT? Are we just talking athletes, or are we just talking about NFL players? I would say NFL players. Yeah. My point is, the NFL players, there ain't no damn doubt in my mind. <laughs> That he's not the guy. I mean, he's oh, yeah. automatic. Yeah, yes. Yeah. He's, the, he's, he's the best player that I've ever seen. He's the best player that's done it on a high level year to year since he entered the league. I would say Tom Brady is the GOAT. Who's second? Second. That's a tough question. Yeah. That is a very tough question. I don't even know the I, answer. I, I love Brett Favre. I would have to say Brett Favre. Yeah. I, would, I would say Brett Favre. Peyton? I couldn't go wrong with either one of them. Yeah, yeah. I just I love everything about Brett because he was so tough. Yeah, yeah. But I would have to just say Brett Favre only because I was a huge fan of him growing up. Yeah. So. Have you ever been fined? No, I got fined for sure, but I got it removed. I've never been fined. You never been fined? No, I never been like late to a meeting. Never nothing like that. I got a face mask my rookie year. Rookie year. Hurt in the pockets. Not oh, yeah. How, much, how much was the fire? How much five was the fire? Five grand. Five and grand? It felt like 50. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah. And, then, um, and then I threw a ball in the stands. I scored a touchdown in Cleveland. And uh, I threw of, a ball yeah. in the stands. And that one I just I took. Remember, I remember. I yeah, remember that. Yeah. It, was a, it was a long well, touchdown, right? No, actually, it was like three yard touchdown. But it, wow, it, it's, you can't <laughs> throw the ball in the stands on. I threw it in the stands and I <laughs> accepted the fine. My agent calls me, he goes, "Hey, listen, we're gonna we're gonna try to appeal this thing." I'm like, "I mean, I threw the ball in the stands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How am I gonna say anything other than that?" So he's like, "Trust me, don't worry. We can try to find a way to knock it down." Yeah, I was like, "All right." So I go in, I go up, I call, and he goes, uh, "All right, we're ready for your call. What, what happened?" And I'm like, uh, "Yeah, I was in there. I didn't know." You know, he's like. <laughs> Yeah, you did. It's like, <laughs> all right, good talk, man. Have a good. And I just hung up the phone. It was no old. appeal. Like, didn't that was the appeal process. Right I know, he was like, no. Nah. Take any money off? Hell no, they didn't take no damn money off. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't throw the ball on a three-yard slant. Yeah. It was my first touchdown. That's, why, that's, very why, long that's time. probably why he didn't let you appeal it because it was a three-yard touchdown. <laughs> yeah. So your fourth year with the Dallas Cowboys, my rookie, I got drafted there. I got the chance to obviously meet you, become great friends with you. Romo, Witten, those guys. What, what do you feel about the careers and how it progressed throughout the years? Playing with, specifically Romo right now, playing with him, I almost took for granted how good he was as an actual player. Going to Cleveland and then having those quarterbacks and having them not be able to facilitate the same way. I was like, well, you know, we can't run out of, you know, I can't hook up on a on this route. Like, yeah. no, no, you gotta run it this way because that's how they want you to do it. Where like Romo was able to ad lib a lot more than, than a lot of other quarterbacks I've, I've ever played with since. Uh, yeah, same way. I, I played with him for four years. We ran a pretty much a pro style offense, air attack, no huddle. But when I got there, he was able to really break it down, mm -hmm. s make it simple for me. Made my job a lot easier, as well as Witt. What, what Coach, do you think about yeah, yeah. Say. First off, just seeing Witt do it 15 years in, I remember going up to him during practice or whatever, me standing on the sideline, already being out the league for three years after he was in the league for three <laughs> right. years before I got there. Right. And uh, just coming up to him and saying like, I don't know how, you are still operating on a high level. No one, in my opinion, has had more desire as a player and like long-term focus, short-term goals, the whole deal right. uh, than him. I agree, I mean, Witten, by far, first ballot Hall of Famer. He's a guy, like you said, his work ethic is second to none. And as a rookie, you know, like, he took me under his wing. It was hard, it was hard. He cut me no slack, he molded me to be a great player, not just on Sundays, but Mondays, Tuesday. He'll pull a guy to the side, one-on-one -on -one individually, speak to him, say, hey, you gotta pick it up. Yeah, You're yeah. not carrying your weight. Mm -hmm. Or he'll call us out as an offense, mm -hmm. which I can respect and everyone respect it. And I remember us finally making it in 2014, winning the division, Dez, Romo, Witten, and myself, all banged up after the game. Witten has the MCL piece on. I have a broken hand. But just to see the look in his eyes and, and feel, you know, he was he was so excited. Just mm -hmm. for the first playoff game, we haven't, haven't been there in a while. So um, he's I a ain't great, gonna lie. great I was uh, in Cleveland at the time. I was hoping y'all <laughs> lost like a mother. <laughs> I knew, I knew, you know what? I said, no, I, incomplete, <laughs> man. That shit was not a good. Yeah, I, I knew you individually you wanted us all to do well, but collectively <laughs> you wanted us to go down. But, you yes. know, it, it was great. It was great, you know. Playing with those two guys, playing with you, obviously. 
Yeah. I wouldn't have had the career I've had if I would have been drafted. I tell people this all the time. If I would have went somewhere else, no telling where I would end up. But yeah. just having a lot of great guys who've had a ton of success individually be all about the team, no matter where you come from, who you were, just make sure you're successful individually and it's all for the better part of the team. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it was a pleasure, brother. Hey, it's man. always fun oh, talking, chopping it up with you. Yeah. Hey, I'll see you soon, man. Yeah, yeah.